Right, you boys, up the ropes. Come on, pull yourself up. Use your legs, good. That's it. Get out the car, please, sir. Right, use the thumb hold to control the prisoner. Turn the roof. Keep your prisoner off balance. Right, stand him up again. Make sure they're not too tight. We've been given the following situation exercise to discuss. But before we start, Julie, would you like to take notes for the group, please? Yes, Gary, I'll take notes. Thank you. We're informed that the Holden panel van has been abandoned in local scrub. On location of the vehicle, it is identified as one which has been stolen. There is damage to the vehicle and number plates have been removed. Now, the first point we must consider is what offences have been committed. Firstly, Gary, I think we should go back to the beginning and establish whether the complaint is genuine. After all, the owner could have been involved in a traffic accident or something and disposed of the car himself. But if the complaint is genuine, we should consider the offence of unlawful use of a motor vehicle. Well, the vehicle's been stolen, so I think that we will have to get it fingerprinted, and it's been involved in an accident, so we should get a cast taken of the tyre prints too, in case we want to associate that vehicle with a particular accident. This is a microwave vehicle speed indicator, commonly referred to as radar. Before we commence to use it, there are some tests we must run. The first test is with the tuning fork. It is stamped 88 kilometres an hour. We strike the tines of the fork. And as you can see, it agrees with the tuning fork. What is the range of the gun, Sergeant? Up to 800 metres. We usually work on about 450 metres. Let's try it out, shall we? Good day, sir. The speed of your vehicle has just been checked by radar, and you were found to be travelling at 97 kilometres an hour. The speed limit on this road is 60 kilometres an hour. Have you any reason? No, I didn't realise it was going so fast. Thank <laughs> you. 